Hey, you guys thirsty? You want a cold beverage? Whoa, what are you guys doing? Hey, let's check this thing out together. Today we're taking a look at this Alpicool 52 quart electric cooler. Freezer refrigerator, refrigerator chiller. So this Alpicool is pretty cool. Let's go over some of the features first. They have sealed rubber gaskets, just like a normal refrigerator. Locks in place, easy lift handle to open, unlock them. Same thing on this side. Now, when I first got this, um, I thought it was refrigerator freezer and if you go under that idea things are going to work out how you want it i took this on a weekend trip with some guys uh we stayed in a cabin had a great time and i brought this thinking this was going to be refrigerator or freezer however when this is a refrigerator this is just kind of a chiller um, had this at 30 90 degrees i think and this was running about 50 which ideally this is perfect for a refrigerator and you could have got a lot colder right? this could be a freezer this side but this side is dependent on the big side so if this is super cold like below freezing this will be a refrigerator which is ideal for if you have a lot of frozen foods and you have just a little bit of refrigerator stuff or you're using another cooler for a refrigerator this ideally is a perfect mobile freezer solution um, however we used it, turned as a refrigerator here, and this just was a little bit, you know, warmer. Nothing you want to keep milk in, but keeping vegetables, fruits, things that don't need to be refrigerated for a long time, um, cheese, bread, anything that, you know, if you're in a cabin and there's mice or something possibly, you want to keep stuff in a locked box, there you go. It's safe, it's somewhat cool, um, and your refrigerator stuff is here. But if you're gonna do a freezer, you do have plenty of room in a refrigerator area at that point, which is excellent. So yurt camping, things like that, it's hot out, keep a lot of frozen foods, a little bit of fresh stuff in the refrigerator. You pull out your frozen fruits, the frost, you, you know, earlier in the day, what you're gonna eat or throw them in the refrigerator and you're set to go. So it's a great concept being like that. You just have to understand what it is before you get it, expecting it to be something else. So it's gonna work perfect for me. Uh, van life, you know, you're traveling around, buy a bunch of frozen meats and vegetables, whatever, stock up, pull out a little bit for each day, throw them in the refrigerator section, let them defrost a little bit and keep cool, you're golden. So that's the lid design and these are deep inside. Check it out. You guys think you're so cool, don't you? Okay. Next, it has this awesome, now this locks in place, this is locked, this springs up, springs back down, easy to carry, okay? Not too much on weight, I mean it is heavier than a normal cooler, obviously, because it's electric powered, there is a motor in it, um, which, before I forget, the motor, all weekend running, I mean it does run constantly, just like a refrigerator, it turns on when it needs it. It wasn't super loud, I don't think it bothered anybody, it was pretty quiet. So that's really nice, especially in a tent situation. Now push these two buttons. This locks in place and it's on wheels. I wheeled this thing through rocks over a bridge. Wasn't the greatest wheel over rough terrain because the wheels are small, but on grass, level ground, a little bit of gravel, things like that, no problem. Now your plugins are on this side right here and it comes with your regular house charger, AC, and a DC plug. Plug in into a cigarette lighter. This does have an automatic shutoff, so if your car battery is starting to run low, it will turn this off and it will alarm you. I haven't been able to test that feature yet, but it does say it does send out an alarm before it shuts off. Um, the reason being, if you leave it in, you know, hooked up to your car, you don't drain your car battery where you can't start your car again. So you have that peace of mind where your stuff's gonna stay cool, it's gonna alarm you if it's gonna shut off, and your car battery's not gonna be dead. So that's nice as long as that all works as it should. It should be a great deal. As far as this works plugged in to a regular wall outlet, the thing worked fantastic all weekend. I had no issues once I figured out that 
they both were refrigerators and they were full individually controlled in order to change it see negative four and that's fahrenheit and this side does not change only when the actual temperature changes and there's no way to set it so it's already 51 degrees in the, the side you can set and then it has this gear that you can press in for this settings here to go economy mode or regular full bore mode now, economy mode i think uses a little less electric but it takes a little bit longer to cool down and stuff i'm not exactly 100 sure but that's what i determined it to be um, if you're plugged into a house um, obviously the high mode economy you might want to use in a vehicle once you bring it up to temperature so it kind of is a more economical as far as the use of electricity um, and then to power off you just simply press the power button if you're not using it or of course unplug it and that's basically it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook this up and leave it on for uh, let's go for an hour we see what the temperature is now I'll wait an hour and we'll see what they both are I got this at negative four which is the lowest setting so I'm gonna leave this as a freezer and I should make this a refrigerator. Um, let's see where it is in an hour. And if we need to, we'll step back a little bit later. Okay, after one hour, this is impressive. Now it's not really hot out today. So obviously, probably if it's a 90 degree day and there's sun beating on this, it may take just a hair bit longer. However, I mean, it's not bad out. It's like uh, 55, 56, something like that outside with a breeze, a good breeze today. Anyways, look, it just changes now. It's down to negative six. That's lower than what I set it at, at negative four. So negative six degrees Fahrenheit in the freezer side right now and 31 over there. That's almost too cold to keep food in there. Not a problem. Why would you want to put it on negative four anyways? Just bump this up to zero degrees and you're still 30 degrees below freezing and you'll bring up your temperature here to a decent refrigerator uh, temperature of about 35 40 degrees above freezing anywhere between 35 and 45 i think you're good to go for a refrigerator but let's take a feel inside wow that is cold ice cold inside there obviously you can't feel it on camera but the outside hey it's 57 degrees on the plastic outside so that gives you an idea what the temperature is outside let's hit that and this is negative 15 right there i mean negative 12 these things aren't the most accurate negative 12 that's what i'm getting oh another cool feature i forgot to tell you about it has an led light that lights up on the inside so and it's dark out you don't need a flashlight to grab something out of there i believe that's only on that side yes that's correct now the refrigerator side look 33.9 that's ideal that's that's a very cool refrigerator right there so you can keep milk eggs cheese all the stuff that could spoil in here have freezer stuff in here and you're good to go um that'll be cool i like it i like it a lot so check this out i will put a link down below in the description if this is something for your camping adventures or van life absolutely Thanks for watching.